What is up guys, Doc Redstone here with a video tutorial for you guys today. Um, I've been doing some messing with the villager breeding because um, I haven't seen too many tutorials out there on it. And so this is basically a quick setup that I found out that works pretty well. Um, basically, when villagers, um, villagers only need a door and a single block to count it as a house. So this technically counts as a 30 house village. Now that seems like a lot and uh, in reality it actually isn't and that is because um, villagers, it takes one villager per three doors. So I set this up to 30 which turned out quite nicely so I should get 10 villagers total. Um, and I do eventually, this is only 30, this is a 30 minute quick recording um, with some step throughs and on screen you'll see the times that will pop up but basically um, it took 30 minutes just to get four villagers which is pretty darn crazy um, but anyway so within the first 33 seconds of me placing the two villagers with spawn eggs and you can move them with minecarts or whatever um, a baby villager was produced so it, took about, it takes about 33 seconds however the cooldown time seems to be a bit longer um, because the second baby villager is not until the 750 mark which takes about where did I put that six minutes and 11 seconds so there's a and that's um, an exact count so I don't know if that's random or not I haven't had enough time to test that exactly um, but right now you can see um, because I'm so far away on the screen there's no particle effects but as you can see there are two children um, you have to look really closely right now there's both on screen one likes to run off screen um, but anyway so it takes about six minutes for a cooldown for another villager to be produced so that's how that works also um, villagers are not bound to what their parents are. So for instance I use a spawn egg which can only spawn two types or the t uh, default villagers and uh, later on I actually go in and this is a recorded over but later on I go in and you will see that the villagers um, that one baby is a blacksmith and one is a priest I do believe. So that's how that works. Um, it takes 20 minutes and 35 seconds approximately for a villager to go from a baby to an adult. So obviously it's not just overnight or instantly, it does take quite a bit of time for that baby to become an adult. And as you see we're at the 20 minute and 25 second mark and it should be coming up on the screen now. And basically um, you'll see the baby turn into an adult and it's not as obvious as I'd hoped it'd be. I was flying over because this was a, in total a 30 minute recording which was crazy um, but yeah it took 30 minutes total and I didn't want to be following him around so I just sat over top of him went and did some things and came back and this is what I found out so anyway it takes 20 minutes 35 seconds for a baby villager to become an adult villager it seems like it's just instant there's not a transition progress um, like wheat or you know anything like that it's just instant and like I said before they can do, um, they can become whatever um, based off of an adult villager. So anyway guys, I'm going to jump into the test world actually and show you some of the results I found and then we'll go from there. So just hold on one second and I'll transfer right on over. What's up guys, I am Doc Redstone and I am here in that villager Minecraft breeding area um, that I set up. And so basically, right now you can see the setup that I had in the video, and uh, here's all the villagers. Now what I wanted to point out was, as you can see, this guy is one of the purple villagers, and I believe that's the priest, though I'm not positive. And um, I did not spawn him um, with these spawn eggs. I don't really want to spawn him, because um, I'm still kind of trying to do a test here, but uh, you can only spawn these guys. Um, so basically, and I spawned two of them, so two normal villagers can get you a purple villager or if we go over here and I believe he's right here come here you we have a blacksmith um, right here and so basically two villagers um, produced a purple guy and a blacksmith and then we got two kids running around 
Um, they both look to be normal villagers. I love how they <laughs> open the doors, it's hilarious. Um, but anyway, so this setup is fun. Um, basically, this block, this block, and then these blocks right here count as the house. So it's a 3x3, three three, and then 3x3, three 3x3, three, 3x3. Three three, three three. So all of these are houses, and there's 30 houses. And like I said earlier, there's three doors to one villager. And looks like there, nope. There's three doors to one villager. Um, so basically that means that there should be, there's 30 doors here. So there should be a total of 10 villagers. Um, so as you can see, it gets pretty difficult to get the iron golem because you need 15 villagers. Um, so I'd have to build, if I wanted five more villagers, I'd have to build 15, no. Yeah, 15 more of these stations. Um, so it gets crazy. Um, the drawback of this design is that these guys aren't protected. Now I did peaceful, so they survive. So I'd suggest doing this inside a cave or do build a surrounding up around it or a fence and light well inside. Because if not, these zombies will come, uh, spiders will come, you know, and take down these guys real easily. There's no protection at all. They can't hide in their house. Um, zombies actually with their new um, AI are smart enough to go around the doors so it just gets um, crazy and dangerous so but anyway and here they go opening the doors he's in the door that's not positive little guy he just ran through that door he's a freaking ninja alright guys so anyway this has been Doc Redstone thanks for watching please rate comment subscribe check out some of my other videos thanks guys it's been Doc Redstone peace out